Joining us now to discuss the browser business is Mozilla CEO Gary Kovacs. Gary, welcome to Bloomberg West. So Firefox 4 is coming out. It's coming out. What's better about it? Well, blazingly fast. So the user will notice an order of magnitude increase in speed, both in load time as well as in how the page navigates and how quickly you can make your way through whatever you have going on in your browser. So, so that's the first. And the second is a much more intuitive UI. And then the third, which is probably the most significant, is it's on desktop and mobile all at the same time. So no secret, Mozilla has been losing market share over the last year. I know there are a lot of numbers. Internet Explorer <laughs> is, is losing market share as well. How do you beat that? Yeah. Well, we're actually holding our market share. We're about 30% worldwide, 40% in Europe. And so it's stayed relatively flat. We're growing at about the pace of the, the Internet, so unlike others that are losing share. So Google is picking up share from some, and we continue to innovate. That's how we beat that. And we're delivering a great product tomorrow. You'll see much faster release cycles from us, and we just have to keep delivering what we know we can deliver. Gary, let me ask you about speed. I mean, you talked about making the browser faster. We had the guy at Internet Explorer with us last week from Microsoft talking about a faster browser. Besides being on HTML5, what do you do to make a browser faster? Well, there's a, we have a whole new rendering engine and, and set of technologies around that that helps with navigation. We use a lot of the pieces of the hardware platform itself, such as the hardware acceleration components, and we make sure that we leverage those to the maximum. And then, of course, a lot of the things that we do in the software code are much more efficient. So that, that helps the base speed, but also navigation and a much more intuitive way to navigate through the browser to everything you do on the web helps the user's perception of speed and actual speed, so quite a lot. Let me ask about Microsoft. Uh, they, of course, spent a lot of time in court uh, using their power that they have, their monopoly power that they have of the operating system to make their browser so successful. They still dominate the business. Do you see them still benefiting from the fact that the IE Explorer browser shows up with your latest version of Windows? Well, the, the whole uh, bundling of a browser with an operating system, I think the courts have decided on that long ago. Uh, we don't focus on that at all as a way to get the product in the hands of our users. We focus on leveraging what the 40 to 50,000 army community that contributes to Mozilla to get it in the hands of the 450 million users. So it's, uh, it's happening on innovation, and we're pretty pleased with that. What about Chrome? I mean, Chrome is really what has been advancing over the last couple of years. I mean, what, why is Chrome doing so well? Yeah, so they're about two and a half years old. They're at about 10%. And uh, they're doing well because they're, they focus on a particular part of the market. And that market is for a single, simple interface that's quick. But that's not everybody. Uh, a lot of the users, as we do much more with our online lives, we no longer just connect with information. We share. We do our gra social graphs. We do our influence graphs. We do our banking. We want a browser that does much more. And as we continue to grow our online lives, we're going to want more out of that browser. And that's where we're focused. I want to quickly ask about do not track you you have that feature as part of your browser have you gotten any protests from online advertising companies the companies that uh, collect this kind of data to have more targeted advertising that this is going to threaten their business well we had that was initially so do not track first of all is simply a way for the user to put up their hand and say don't track me respect my preferences and uh, the lots of people protested it at the very beginning it went away quickly because of course it's not something that they can support if users don't want it so we're now at a point where they have to respect those wishes of the user. And quickly, the FTC is pushing Congress for tougher do not track right. rules. Is there anything that they could require over what you guys are already doing? Well, what we're doing is we're putting the ability for the user to exercise their preference. What needs to happen at the back end is it has to be listened to. We believe when 450 million, and now Microsoft has also said they're going to implement a version of Do Not Track, so it'll be many more users that put up their hands. The back ends will have to listen. And a lot of where the government is focused on is how to make that happen. All right. Thank you so much. Gary Kovacs, CEO of Mozilla, thank you so thank much you. for joining us.